August 23, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 546 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. The poor Ukrainian intel just pulled off one of the best defections and theft operations in history, and hardly anyone noticed. The poor Indians just landed a probe on the moon, and hardly anyone noticed. Wagner appears to have lost its entire high command in one plane crash. Ukraine has confirmed the liberation of Robotyne. Russia has committed more troops to attempt to stop Ukraine's liberation of lands on every front. The front was comparatively quiet with only 16 ground combat clashes between both armies. Dnieper line. Bombing and shelling continued. Neither side has spoken of ground contacts here for about a week. Zaporizhia front. Ukraine has declared Robotyne liberated. The Kremlin sends more troops to try to stop Ukraine's liberation in that area. Near the Morki Yoli, Ukraine continues to run patrols south of Eurozhain. East Front, Donetsk. Kremlin attacks were repelled at Marienka. Shelling and bombing was usually heavy. Bakhmut area. Multiple airstrikes by the Kremlin were launched against Ukrainians well behind the front line. The Kremlin made an unsuccessful attack near Vesely. Vesely is part of the area where we transition into the Oskil border front. Oskil border front. The Kremlin continues to pressure the forests east of Lyman, where the Azov battalion counterattacked in the last week. Ukrainian Defense Ministry is reporting that Kremlin's attacks at Novoya Horivka were again repulsed. Ukrainian fighters around Novoselivsky deserve great honor for holding against Kremlin troops for the last two weeks in difficult conditions. The Ukrainian defenders around Kupiansk are in an important fight. The land they hold is key to hundreds of square miles of land, and the Kremlin is quite aware of this. Northern border. Someone in the Russian air defense downed a pretty expensive target. One source is claiming that Prigozhin had two aircraft, and that the second craft landed somewhere successfully. Two drones were reported shot down over Bryansk, Russia. Black Sea. Some sort of skirmish absolutely happened in the Black Sea, between fast inflatable boats and Kremlin air assets. Both sides are claiming victory, with the Kremlin claiming the destruction of a boat and squad, and Ukraine claiming damage to a Kremlin aircraft. The Kremlin had, at last count, 20 caliber missiles available for launch from Russian naval ships. Ukraine world related. Multiple police cars were seen speeding towards the Kremlin just a few hours ago. The property of the following individuals is pretty much up for grabs. Sergei Propustin, Evany Makarian, Alexander Topman, Valery Chekolov, Nikolai Matasev, Dmitry Utki, and Evany Prigozhin. Erdogan of Turkey has proclaimed that Crimea is a component of Ukraine, and we maintain our support to Ukraine's territorial integrity. Canada will be adding sanctions to individuals in the Russian nuclear industries. Japan has pledged $7 billion in aid for rebuilding. Croatia is discussing sending $48 million in aid to Ukraine. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.